Yo, what's good, y'all? Back with another one. Look, man. Look. Excuse my, excuse me for being so fucking excited about the Knicks getting Mikael Bridges, because I'm not gonna lie to y'all, man. Mikael Bridges was literally one of my favorite targets to get this off season, but I did not have no idea that we were going to be able to get him because the Knicks and the Nets literally, and I mean this literally, have not done a trade in almost 40 years. Well, matter of fact, it is 40 years. It's been 40 years since the Knicks did a trade with the Nets. 42 years, as a matter of fact. The last time they did a trade with each other was 1982 for Michael Ray Richardson. That's the very last time the Knicks and the Nets have done any kind of business. They have not done that shit since... It's well documented, real documented that the hatred that the Knicks and the Nets have. But from the word I, the word that I was told that Mikel Bridges basically forced the Nets hand, like he was going to, he was going to find his way to the Knicks regardless, and that's exactly what happened. And look at it this way: as a Knicks fan, I'm fucking ecstatic because now you have Mikel Bridges. OG Ananobi, I, they're gonna bring OG Ananobi back. Don't bring, don't believe those rumors. He's coming back, even if they have to overpay. He's, OG's coming back. Then you have Julius Randle, Mitchell Robinson, uh, Jalen Brunson, Deuce McBride, Dante Divincenzo, Josh Hart. That team is fucking stacked. Like the Knicks are fucking stacked to the ceiling. This is the very first time since 2000 or now that I felt like the Knicks are a bona fide title contender. Like now the Knicks can go at Boston. We can go, we can go after the Celtics now for sure. We were always, in my opinion, I always felt like the Knicks would have been a good matchup for Boston regardless, even though we stayed healthy. But now the pieces are in place now to go after the Celtics because you need two big wings like OG and Anobi, who has a history of shutting down Jason Tatum. And then you have Mikel Bridges now. And then you still have a great bench with Josh Hart and Dante DiVincenzo. That's going to make them a super bench. Like this is wow. I'm not going to lie, man. I'm fucking excited. Y'all like this is, this was, un, this was, I did not see this coming. I did not see us getting Mikel Bridges, even though like I would have been cool with Paul George. I would have been cool with others, but Mikel Bridges was definitely my always my number one target because like I said, he's a seamless fit with New York. Seamless fit because he's not he's not a superstar. He's not going to demand the ball. He's going to play right off Jalen Brunson and Julius Randle. And then he's going to defend at a high level, just like with him and OG and Anobi on the wing. The Knicks have a chance to be the best defense in the NBA next year with a, a healthy Mitchell Robinson, healthy OG and Anobi, and a healthy Mikel Bridges. Like, wow. <laughs> I ain't going to hold you, y'all. Like, I haven't been this excited about the Knicks in a long fucking time. I was excited about them last year, but this year, wow. This shit just took it over the fucking top for me man but now as far as the 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 hot the, the hierarchy in the eastern conference the eastern conference has just gotten real because now i'm waiting for the philadelphia 76ers to make a move you know what i'm saying and then you got milwaukee you got miami you got fucking indiana you got cleveland because donovan mitchell will probably be back you got orlando like yeah the east is about to be stacked and i can't fucking wait but Hell yeah, man. I'm loving that Mikel Bridges move because, like I said, he was my number one target. I just didn't think it was realistic. But Leon Rose made it happen. Leon Rose is a fucking genius. Salute to Leon Rose, man. Real talk. But y'all tell me what y'all think. I'm going to holler at y'all. Peace.